Hello and welcome to today's very important presentation on using speaking avatars for video presentations. Now this has been made accessible to just about anyone, whether educators, students, uh, business people, and so on. So it is something that we should consider and look at the benefits and drawbacks. So using speaking avatars like DID, which I'm using right now, but with my voice for video presentations can have both benefits and drawbacks when it comes to capturing your audience, which is the most important aspect of delivering information. Let's take a look at some of them. These are the benefits that I've come up with, but I'd love to hear your opinion. And what are the, some of the benefits that I have not mentioned that you see? Well, the first that I would like to discuss is visual appeal. Speaking avatars can add a visually engaging element to your presentation. They can be customized to match your brand or desired aesthetics, making your video visually appealing and potentially capturing the attention of your audience. Next is novelty and engagement. Using speaking avatars can bring a fresh and unique aspect to your video presentation. It can create a sense of novelty and intrigue, potentially increasing audience engagement and interest in your content. Accessibility. Avatars can be helpful for individuals with hearing impairments or language barriers. By providing visual representations of spoken content, avatars can make your presentation more accessible to a wider audience. And finally, consistency, a very important aspect of presentations. Speaking avatars can deliver your presentation content consistently each time it is played. This eliminates the variability that might arise from different individuals presenting the information, ensuring a standardized delivering of your message and avoiding abstractions and distractions. And now for the drawbacks. Well, the first one that I'd like to mention, and as I said before, for the benefits, feel free to add your own if they're not mentioned here, is lack of human connection. One significant drawback, and I think a very important one of using avatars, is the potential lack of human connection. Human interactions and facial expressions that are still uh, not there with avatars, and maybe will never be, I'm not sure, can convey emotions and establish a sense of report that may be challenging for avatars to replicate. And there's that energy that human connection energy that I don't think a machine can replicate anytime soon. This can impact the overall engagement and connection with your audience. Next is limited expressiveness. Avatars may have limited expressiveness compared to real human presenters. Emotional nuances, gestures, and voice modulation may not be conveyed as effectively and synced with the uh, camera or with the avatar's uh, face, potentially reduce the impact of your message. And finally, authenticity concerns. Depending on the context and audience, the use of avatars may raise concerns about authenticity. And, and this is clearly the case uh, with uh, some of the videos that I created with my image turned into a so-called speaking avatar or speaking image. Some viewers may prefer genuine human interactions and find avatars impersonal or less credible, potentially affecting their engagement and perception of your presentation. So think about it. Try them out and see how it feels. Watch others and see how they feel. And write your comments. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.